If I'd known, I'd... I don't know. Maybe I'd have tried to handle things differently. I know he's potentially important to Phase 3 and all, but I'm not sure it's worth putting ourselves in harm's way. Why did the Institute send you, specifically? They thought I'd be able to relate to him with my scientific background. I know they've been keeping an eye on him for years. Not sure how they originally found him, but probably don't want to know. But once they realized how smart he was and what an asset he could be for Phase 3, they watched pretty closely. I think they even fed him scientific material from time to time to see how good he was, you know, testing him to see if he was Institute material. Let's just get Wallace and get out of here. What does this Wallace guy have to do with Phase 3? Wallace is, well, brilliant by all accounts. Like nothing we'd seen in the Commonwealth prior. He truly has a gift when it comes to theoretical physics. He'd be an asset to the Institute, specifically in getting the reactor running. With his help, we could accelerate the timetable immensely. There's just, well, there's a slight problem with that. He doesn't want to go with us. I was thinking, maybe you could try and talk to him. <sighs> Any advice on how to talk to him? Don't make him angry. Let him know we're not going to hurt him. In fact, his life would improve considerably. I wonder what's in here. Heads up. Yeah? Excuse me. Got a minute to talk, sir? What's up? When Father told us about you, and who you were, it was clear he had certain biases. How could he not? He's your son, and proud of it. When he shared his plan for you to take his place, well, a lot of us thought that was more than just pride. It was narcissism. How would you, an outsider who knew nothing about us, run the Institute? We all had our doubts. Me, maybe more than most. But now, after watching the way you operate, well, I have to admit, I was wrong. It's clear to me now that Father knew what he was doing, and I should have trusted him. Having doubts is normal. The most important question is, do you trust his vision for the Institute? Yes, absolutely. I know that you haven't had much time with him, but I can tell you honestly, sir, Father is a great man. I believe in his plan for the future. I'll do anything in my power to make sure that future becomes a reality. Do I like wading through the filth that is the Commonwealth and all of its vermin? Of course not. But if that's what the Institute needs me to do, then I'll do it. My point is, you should be proud to call him your son. Why do you hate the Commonwealth and its people so much? If the Institute represents the best of humanity, of what it can accomplish, then the Commonwealth represents the worst. It's like a rotting corpse, and the people who make their home there are like carrion worms, feeding on the filth. Soon, there will be nothing left but the Institute, and mankind will be better for it. Anyway, I've said what I wanted to say. Thanks for listening. Look alive. Just point it out. You must be What's pretty excited being named the next director. Dr. Thompson. I'm looking forward to working for you, future director. Your thoughts? I have to hand it to you, sir. You know what you're doing. Your thoughts? If you're worried I won't be able to keep up, don't be. Your thoughts? There's nothing we can't take on. Your thoughts? People in the Commonwealth are terrified of coursers. They should be. Your thoughts? We should get more ammunition soon. Can never... Uh, that's all. Affirmative. The sooner we can get out of here, the better. <clears throat> Scanning. Subject identified. Broken. The sooner we can get out of here, the better.
Got it. Is there anything you can't do? Mr. Wallace, I'm here to talk to you. You're another one of, uh, of them, aren't you? The we Are you a robot? Out, the better. Sir, are you okay? Have you been injured in any way? I'm locked in a bathroom to avoid killer robots. Of course I'm not okay. I've heard all the stories. I know exactly what happens to people when the Institute shows up. Well, it's not happening to me. Hey, just calm down, okay? I just want to talk to you. Fine, fine. What do you want from me? Mr. Wallace, would you be willing to help the Institute? Help the Institute? But aren't, aren't they, you, I'm, I'm the bad guys? The Institute has an engineering problem that your scientific expertise could help solve. In exchange for helping us out, you'd be granted access to the most advanced research facility imaginable. Whatever research you wanted to perform, anything, it's possible there. I promise. You'd be safe and secure in a way that's completely impossible anywhere else. You have a better option than what we're offering you? No. No, I guess I don't. Okay, fine. I'll go. The sooner we can get out of here, the better. <sighs> okay. I think we've got this under control now. Thanks. I mean, thanks for the assist. You're gonna bring him in immediately, right? Oh, yeah. Don't want him to start second-guessing the decision. I'll see you back in the Institute. The sooner we can get out of here, the better. Enrico. The sooner we can get out of here. better.
Yeah? <clears throat> Hi, how are you? Yeah? Excuse me. General? Hello, sir. Hey there. Hey, General. Look alive. Sir. It was evidently pretty serious. And of course, we can all empathize with what they're going through. I have seen reports of some fatalities, but my understanding is that things are now under control. So if you happen to bump into someone from Vault 81, don't worry. They're probably not contagious. Now it's 60 Minute Man by Billy Ward and the Domino. Right here. side. What? Bringing that rogue sentry? Hey. Sounds like those raiders at Libertalia were quite a handful. It's my responsibility to make sure this place runs smoothly. Dr. Fillmore. So, what can I do for the future director of the Institute? I'm good for now. Thanks. Goodbye, then. You are authorized to access my stock of supplies. Let's see what you got.
Ah, there you are. I cannot express how pleased I am. Our new guest is familiarizing himself with his surroundings, yet he's already pointed out several inefficiencies in our methods. With his help, Phase 3 will be ready in no time. And it's all thanks to you. A lot of work went into this before I even arrived. Just how close are we? It shouldn't take long at all. The facilities division has it well in hand. There is one more part for you to play, and I think you might enjoy it. It is time to announce our presence to the Commonwealth, to request that they do not interfere with our plans. You should be the one to do it. What kind of announcement are we talking about? A broadcast. An announcement to the Commonwealth that the Institute is not to be trifled with. As the incoming director, that responsibility naturally falls to you. We've prepared some remarks for you to record. Once you're finished, we'll broadcast them to the entire Commonwealth. Use the microphone here and follow the script. It's quite simple. I'm sure you'll do fine, Father. Son. If you could, please finish up the speech. We'll need the final recording before we go too much further. For years now, you have suspected that the Institute still exists. That we are among you. It is true. But it is not the whole truth. We're here. And we are. Here to help. Our superior technology represents the future of the Commonwealth. Today, we activate our nuclear reactor, ensuring that we will persevere long after the world above ground ceases to exist. Ensuring that mankind has a future. We have no desire to interfere in the unimportant details of your... daily lives. We simply insist that you do not interfere with Institute operations. To do so would result in... dire consequences. Rest easy. Know that the future is... looking bright. And that mankind will thrive under our guidance. Well, that was interesting. Perhaps not what we originally intended, but it will certainly get your point across. Now it's time to make sure that everyone hears it. How would you feel about making a little trip to Diamond City? What do you want with Diamond City? Nothing with the city itself. This is a bit of a shortcut, actually. The radio station in Diamond City is listened to by many in the Commonwealth. If we'd like the people to hear what we have to say, it's the best way to reach them. Before we preempt their broadcast, we need to ensure it reaches the maximum range possible. I've been assured that the necessary parts are on site. You'll just need to install them to boost the broadcasting power. Report back when you're done. We should be ready by then. Sean. Once your work has been done in Diamond City, we can proceed.
Holly. Leave me alone. Everyone in this city is always jumping at shadows. Chill out is what I say. Want to do something fun? Run the bases. Trust me. Something interesting happens. We're right in the center of it. Look, just leave me alone. Means a lot to this city. You helping keep the wall pristine? Abbott. Got work to do. We found that baseball stuff from Old Cronin. I must have been a bad ass. Hey there, mister. My dad says not to talk to strangers. you're gonna ask.
slippers after the shift. That's all I ask. No funny business. I haven't forgotten what you've done for me. That's right, folks. Commonwealth. Travis. Now, oh, hey. How are you? Things with Scarlet didn't really, uh, work out. But that's fine. Now I'll need to find those radio parts. No wonder it isn't broadcasting at full power. I think the radio sounds better these days. Here's another one from the heat spots. It's all over with the crime. I'm not getting trying to us any complaints. Maybe this goes here? In you go. Oh, hey. How are you? From what I hear, that rogue synth at Libertalia was a real menace. I'm glad you talked me into coming here. <clears throat> to think I'd be above ground suffering i'm much better off here so many projects so little time this place really is remarkable remember to conserve power at every opportunity
Sleep is such a waste of time. I'd rather be designing more efficient plasma emitters. Rosalind. One day, I'll design a more efficient reactor to replace that old clunker in the basement. Another lovely day, isn't it? Hey, Doc. Another of our scavenger teams has come under attack by feral ghouls. There seems to be no end to the damn things. I hate to keep asking this, but there really is nobody else to turn to. Can you deal with those ghouls? Not right now. Well, I won't trouble you further about it then. I know you'll honor Father's legacy when you're the director. Best part of my day is coming home to my girls. Enjoy your trip to the big city. It's done then? The transmitter has been modified. I'm all set. But what about the reactor? The initial round of tests is finished. All readings are nominal. So yes, I think we're ready. I'll let you do the honors. This, my friends, is the moment we've all worked towards. After all your effort, the time has finally come to start our reactor. No longer will we be forced to compromise to survive. No more will we need worry about outpacing our resources. My father and I couldn't be more proud of what you have helped us accomplish. And we look forward to achieving even greater things in the future. The Institute is now truly mankind's best hope. Thank you. All of you. Son. Perhaps someday our synths can reclaim the Commonwealth. This truly is a wonderful place, isn't it? would think of our accomplishments. Sean. I'm glad you could be here to share this with me. Someday, Father, this will all be yours. Son. It's almost hard to believe. After all those years of hard work, here we are. We've arrived. Look what you've made possible. Now that the reactor works, what's next for the Institute? We'll get to that. There's more work to be done before the Institute's future is guaranteed. The Directorate has convened a meeting about how to proceed. I'm not going to attend. You should be there as Director. 
Sean. I couldn't be more proud of what we've achieved. One day, I'll design a more efficient reactor to replace that old clunker in the basement. All this advanced technology, and we still can't cure the common cold. Remember, health and happiness go hand in hand. Thanks for running those seeds up to Warwick Homestead. May I be the first to welcome you, sir. We're looking forward to working with you. What kind of work will we be doing exactly? Well, normally the Directorate reviews and approves research tracks for the various divisions. Today, however, we're here for a different reason. Right now we're all here because it's finally time to stand up for ourselves. Let's not be dramatic, Justin. There's nothing dramatic about it. We're in a position to push back, to assert ourselves here. That's what we've talked about all along. To bring you up to speed? Obviously, there are groups in the Commonwealth that stand in opposition to the Institute's goals. With the reactor now online, we have the ability to not only expand synth production, but to project power to a much greater degree.
Where are you going with this? What's the Institute's goal? Well... The Directorate has agreed that steps must be taken to ensure our safety in the long run. Let's just spit it out, shall we? The Directorate has decided that the Brotherhood of Steel need to be eliminated. As the incoming Director, we felt it important to inform you of the decision and get your thoughts on it. So, where do you stand? Shouldn't we wait and see? Give the announcement some time to sink in before acting. We all know why the Brotherhood is even in the Commonwealth to begin with. We've all agreed that action must be taken. As Director, it's up to you and how we focus our efforts in achieving this goal. We'd like your input on what direction we should take. Do we increase synth production or focus on weapons development? What would the results of this choice be? I'd like to make a well-informed decision. Well, if we increase synth production, we'd be able to deploy more of them to the Commonwealth to aid in our operations. Weapon development would improve the weapons we have available to us now, making our synths more effective in the field. Which would you prefer we focus on? Synths are the Institute's greatest strength. The more we have, the better off we are. Well said. I'll see that the necessary steps are taken. Thank you very much for your time, sir. That's all we have for the moment. I believe Father wished to speak with you once our meeting concluded. Our synth at Warwick sent his first report. Thanks for taking care of that. Surplus power should translate to increased efficiency and productivity. Dr. Watson. Those blueprints you brought me were fascinating. Any chance you could find more of them? I can't right now. Sorry to bother you then. If things open up for you, let me know. Unit B-592 is undergoing the reclamation process as we speak. Before long, he'll be back in the workforce. Justin. The McDonough synth has another report ready for pickup. Can you make the trip? Find someone else. There isn't anyone else. But I can see you're not willing to help. If you change your mind... to welcome you here. We got more than enough power thanks to the new reactor. Ah, there you are. You've met with the director. I assume they made their intentions known? It was difficult for them to reach the decision to engage in open hostility. What about you? Do you agree with their decision? How long has this been coming? When did they decide on this course of action? The arrival of the Brotherhood's airship was the final straw, really. There's just too much at stake. We... You can't afford to lose it all. You know, Father, it's no secret that you worked with the Railroad in order to first reach the Institute. The depth of your involvement with them has been called into question repeatedly. I'm sure you can guess by whom. You can imagine my relief when I learn that you have, apparently, already taken care of that problem. I am sorry. I know it was likely difficult for you. You're confident the railroad is finished? As confident as we can be. It was always a loose network. But with the key players gone, it's not impossible that they'll be back someday. But it will take them time. There is obviously one final threat the Institute faces. What is it? What's this last threat? Well, perhaps it's not that obvious after all. The Brotherhood of Steel covets technology, 
and has made it clear that we cannot peacefully coexist. They will eventually come for us and attempt to take what we've spent so long creating. We need to destroy them before they can destroy us. Destroy them? What exactly do you mean? I mean we eliminate all Brotherhood forces in the Commonwealth. But the problem with the Brotherhood of Steel goes beyond the edges of the Commonwealth. It's not enough to destroy them here. There are more of them out there in the world, Father. And they too will come for us. You have something in mind if that happens. I'd like to prevent it from happening in the first place. We will show them that if they interfere with us, the very technology they value so highly will be turned against them. We will teach them that we can appear at a moment's notice, wherever we please, and they cannot ever stop us. They will know better than to ever interfere with us again. So we're just going to attack them? There's a plan that's a little more involved than that. Dr. Watson should be in the lab. He will explain the details to you. Time is of the essence. I'll sleep a lot easier now that the reactor's online. Son. The Brotherhood is the only thing left standing between the Institute and true security. The Brotherhood is the only thing left standing between the Dr. Institute Thompson. and true security. Dr. Thompson, you know, I love my true work, security. but I love being a father. 